Hello, Penny here. Today on my garden podcast, it's gone a bit Prince, hasn't it, Twitter? It's now the symbol known as X. Don't understand it. And again, don't really care. Try not to be a worrier. (laughs) So, I'm about to enter into a long-term relationship with asparagus, right? So, I've got a tray from the greenhouse with 10 asparagus plants on it. They've been soaking because I'm about to plant them out and they are beauties. They look very much like, at the moment anyway, dill. You know, dill is quite fluffy and feathery and soft to touch. Um, So I'd say it's got that look about it and it's nice lime green coloured at the moment. Um, I've grown these from seed so they, you know, I was quite surprised they germinated. They were very sort of weird, almost like black peppercorns that you had to soak for 48 hours before you could plant them out. And then the guidance was it would take ages for them to germinate. And I think this is the long-term relationship aspect with asparagus is because you don't get any asparagus from it for the first three years. As I've mentioned in a previous episode, husband was like, what's the point of that? What's the point of anything, darling, I said. No, I didn't. But anyway, we've got some lovely, healthy-looking plants here. So what we've done is, well, actually, I say we again. I've slipped into that thing that people do when they've been together for too long. <laughs> it's a saying we did this we mowed the lawn no we didn't you did or I did anyway my husband bought me a nice veg box ready made didn't have to make it it's got sort of hinged corners that's in that's on the ground now it's got a piece of cardboard underneath it to protect the bed from the lawn poking up through and he has filled it rather generously with a nice big bag of fresh compost so it's a weed free environment and it's going to be a brilliant place to plant out these asparagus so let's see what we need to do i believe that they have to be 45 centimeters apart so we'll we'll do that we'll guesstimate that as usual and i think we're going to be able to fit if we go corners i don't know if you're allowed to do corners you can allowed to do anything it's your own garden aren't you <laughs> so gonna do three and three so we'll get nine in so one of them can go elsewhere but the advice when I you know went to the expert Google uh, is to plant them 45 centimeters apart but also consider this to be the they're sort of like they're not going to move anywhere do not move asparagus away from where they start do not rip them out and plant fresh asparagus in their stead if you need to do that because they won't grow so they really are quite I wouldn't say precious yeah they're precious aren't they I mean there are some things you can just literally throw in the ground anywhere but I think these things need a little bit more care and um and also they need loads of watering they need loads of feeding and weeding and all that good stuff so we'll just have to see won't we what happens see if in three years time if I've got asparagus on my plate and given that hunky husband does all the cooking it'll be him who he'll be um I'm not gonna say frying because that makes it sound inelegant (laughs) sautéing in a in an olive oil and lemon drizzle frying them on in a frying pan on the on the hob or a griddle as i as i said um just then actually about (laughs) it not being known for three years as to whether it would have i'd have asparagus on my plate it did cross my mind that that might just be another commitment from the garden podcast to keep going until we have asparagus and and then does it have to keep going for the next 20 years to keep checking in on the asparagus um, and what they said on Google as to whether it was true or not. Um, I don't know about that, to be honest. I, I I think I'll just, you know, a listener's imagination is far more fertile than any broadcaster's vocabulary can manage. So you can, you can imagine for yourselves in three years time, whether I'll be eating asparagus or not, whether it's from the shop or whether it's from the garden, but yeah. 
how do you do your asparagus do you even like it and there's the controversy isn't there about whether people's wee smells of it when they've eaten it mine doesn't i don't have a problem with that but some some people really do don't they anyway so what i'm doing now is i'm just tipping them out of their pots and I am enjoying this. It's very, very satisfying. They're not delicate seedlings that need special handling and pricking out and stuff. They've actually got really good healthy roots coming through the bottom of the, the little plastic pots, you know, about six, seven centimetres tall pots. So they're very, you know, they're kind of good solid, good solid plants to be putting out. This one's a bit stuck, it's a bit, a bit roots. Oh dear, I don't like damaging roots, but sometimes you have to there we go, a bit of a snap there. Um, yeah, and then it's going straight into this lovely, this lovely soil. Do you know what? It really should be on TV, this bed, because it's got the look of, it's got that look, you know. No bed in reality is ever like this. Absolutely a big bag of compost just put straight in. And then easy, easy in. You know, I'm not really having to do anything to, <laughs> to push it in. Oh, I'm going full. I'm going full Monty Don on this one. Look at that, that's lovely. Now, the reason I'm not on TV as a gardener is you know the reason why. Um, I'm completely an expert. But also, I was meant to do this in March, April time. It's now August. It's mid-August. Um, I was late with the germinating. I was late to everything I'm always late to everything and it always works out nearly always works out and it's just how it is isn't it you can't be too you can't go around feeling too bad about too much can you although I do try I was once at an, an event a conference and there was a speaker um up and uh I think what did she say? She got up and one of her like opening phrases was, we are all worriers. And I thought, do you know what? We really are. I am. I'm so relating to this speaker because I really do worry. I'm a worrier. Yeah, we, gosh. And she's saying we're all worriers. Anyway, she then went on to talk about strength and invincibility. And I realized she said warriors, um, which was a little less appealing. I have to say, I was a bit tired. I didn't want to be a warrior. I wanted to be a warrior. Uh, <laughs> anyway, oh, it's nice to be in the garden. It really is. I've, I've kind of, I'm not going to say neglected it because that would be beating myself up about something I don't need to beat myself up about. But I've been really busy. It's been the busiest August for work I've ever known. And I'm getting re loads of bookings for like March next year and stuff, which is fantastic. But it's not allowed much time for putting your asparagus into a new bed, I have to say. And when there has been time, I've been a little tired from it all. So I'm not going to worry about the garden because it is in good nick. It's that time of year, isn't it, where you can kind of take it or leave it. A bit of deadheading, not much else required. I can see, though, we've really... We've really been more confident this year about planting stuff. And the bed, um, the couple of beds are really bulging with really ace stuff. Um, so what's come out recently over the last couple of weeks is really nicely scented flocks, really tall um, purple flocks. And then oh, something else I put in, I can't remember what it is, like a white bulb that took ages to develop and now it's come up and it's very scented. I'll, I'll find it out and I'll get back to you on that one. So those have just come out and Cosmos is doing well and Nicotiana and all that. So it's actually been a really bumper year because we had such brilliant warm weather. And I obviously say that with a caveat of it's not great to have brilliant warm weather when you're not meant to. But anyway, we did. And it meant that everything could just get a real wriggle on, you know, get a real good start on things. Unlike the asparagus that's uh, been... <laughs> it's going to be... Sort of wondering why it's out now. Oh, I don't know what will happen. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, right. This is going ever so well, I have to say. So I've got a few more to put in. I won't bore you with the details of that because it's just exactly the same as what I've just been doing. Trowel in, hole, asparagus in, 
done press it in so i'll tuck these these guys in and um, i'll put a photograph on the, the old twitter or whatever it's called now it's gone a bit prince hasn't it twitter it's now the symbol known as x i don't understand it and again don't really care I'm trying not to be a worrier <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll let you know in three years whether this has worked out. And, uh, yeah, happy harvesting, guys. <laughs> <laughs>